it might surprise you to hear that the most used and abused part of your 4B isn't necessarily the engine or the transmission or even the four-wheel drive system that moves you along. No, the component that arguably cops the most punishment both on and off the road are your shock absorbers, taking the full force of every single lump, bump, rock and knock along the way. Here in a typical front suspension, we've got two components, a spring and a shock absorber. The spring carries the weight of the car and the shock absorber controls the spring and controls the movement of the weight of the car. And what that shock absorber does for us is give us ride comfort as well as handling. And to get those two things exactly right is a very fine line. And what we're going to do is go for a little walk, safety first, and we're going to work out how they do it. Since the beginning in 1979, every single old man emu shock absorber has started its life right here at the Munro Manufacturing Plant in Adelaide. Back then, a lot of the initial research was done out in the field where it became pretty obvious that without rock solid reliability and long distance endurance, there was no way you could ever reach the finish line. Flash forward a few decades, and while these days there's still plenty being learned out on the tracks and trails and by the seat of the pants ride evaluation, technology has made it possible for ARB to draw on Munro's bank of worldwide research and engineering advances. This is the latest Old Man Emu Sport 4x4 shock absorber. They've got a top, they've got a bottom, and they absorb force. It sounds pretty simple, but as you can see, when you look at all the engineering involved, they're anything but. And you'll be pleased to know that every one of those individual pieces, from the roll steel cylinder tubes to the individual shims and spacers, are made right here, in-house. After more than 50 years building shocks for the likes of Holden and Toyota, the Munro team have the process pretty well down pat and can turn a collection of metal pieces into a fully prepped and painted batch in just a few hours. Of course, it's not just manufacturing that happens here. This is also where a lot of the testing and further development takes place. How about this for a bit of gear? It would have to be the ultimate shock absorber test toy. As a matter of fact, they run this thing for two weeks on end. Two million cycles up and down. Now that's got to be more than we're going to do in our four-wheel drive. For more info on Australia's old man emu range of four-wheel drive and competition shocks, get on the ARB website and find your nearest distributor. So what started out as bits of metal and bits of tube is now the finished product. In reality, this shock absorber's journey has just begun. It could end up anywhere in Australia, or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Well, you got a tough life in front of you, little bird.